Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing just doing my makeup with the new Urban Decay Game of Thrones collection. So I picked this up off Selfridges a little while ago. I've had it for a little while now. I haven't played with it. Um, well, mm, that's a little bit of a lie. I haven't played with this one. I played with cats because we did a Get Swatched video on beauty news so if you want to see that you haven't seen it it's going to be linked down below and i'll try to remember to put a card i think it goes up here um but today i'm gonna put this on my face um let me show you let me show you the beauty it is pretty cool it's a pretty fucking sick little set um it was never my intention to purchase the vault uh, but when I saw it on Selfridges and I saw the price, I was like, that is going to be so much cheaper than what I can get these for in Australia when it launches at Mecca. Um, and Mecca weren't getting the vault. So the vault was never going to be an option if I chose to shop uh, through Mecca. There were certain things that I really wanted, like the makeup brushes. I was like, these are the, the main things that I want. From the collection i knew they were going to be super expensive um so i was like well i'm not i'm not missing out on them um and i knew i wanted the sansa lipstick and the eyeshadow palette i was pretty confident that mecca would get them um so that wasn't an issue the things that i didn't want were like the metallic lipsticks and the lip and cheek tint like it's such a no product. I was a bit, I didn't know how I felt about the highlighting palette. So I was kind of like, I don't want it because the contents don't interest me at all, but the packaging does. So yeah, that's a thing, but I'll go through it more as I'm using it. Um, I'm going to start with the eyeshadow palette. So this is the palette. Um, I'm sure you guys have you guys have seen this everywhere, but I'm going to go through it anyway. Um, hello us. Hi. Um, so mirror, which look, the mirror is useless because what the fuck is this? Like, look at how it sits. So if you have it sitting on a desk, what are you going to do? Hold the mirror up? Like, I don't even know why they bothered with that. If they were going to have a mirror in there, they should have done what they did with the vault and put the the ribbons to support the lid see what's going on here with these ribbons they prevent the lid from flopping back they should have done it with the palette anyway um there is a throne oh look at that 3d throne um look my thoughts on the throne is okay yeah kind of cool um and I do understand why they did it because they do these sort of pop-up palettes with, um, you know, TV and movie properties often, well, not often, but when they do them, they often do a pop-up. So I get why they did it. Um, do I think it's necessary? No. Is it kind of cool? Yeah. Um, but again, like, there we go. Um, if you're going to have this, like, as a display piece you're gonna sit it like this and the mirror is just gonna be like flopping wherever um, and then you're gonna have this thrown up and it sits kind of weird like uh, I don't know like yeah okay but execution <laughs> maybe not so okay um, the palette slides out like so from the bottom so you know you're not gonna be traveling with this because it's a it's a big boy um, and here it is my okay this is this is great because when i see this in my like my little screen i'm like Bleh. that is bland and boring do not need and there's really not a lot that i see in my viewfinder that interests me and that was my vibe with this palette when i saw like the promotional images of it i was like oh man like there's really there, there it's wearable but there's not a lot going on in there that is even remotely interesting but when i turn it around and i look at it it just looks 
it looks better and I just I don't know why and I feel like some of you might be able to re relate to this if you have managed to see this in store um, it looks better in person than it does in photos or film that's that's my vibe with this palette so it's a 20 pan palette and they're like you know grouped off in little houses you've got uh, Targaryen oh well maybe I think okay if we get up nice and close let's have a look I think like these shades on this side the individual round ones I think that like represents what the color family is meant to be about so you've got Bay of Dragons King's Landing Winterfell and Hardhome but I'm just like White Walkers Winterfell um, House Lannister and Targaryen I don't know that's my vibe nice and close for some eye makeup application um, mm. I don't know if I need to get my eyes checked or if my lens is not focusing properly I think it's my lens not good I dropped this camera the other day it fell over there are only three mattes in this 20 pan palette um, I think that's a major flaw with it it's it's kind of frustrating you've got like a sort of pinky nudish shade that's a little bit I don't know pinkish nudes probably not the right word for it it's kind of like a pinky coral light pinky coral shade then you've got a generic mid-toned brown um, and Lannister red which is if I remember correctly I'm gonna have to swatch it I think it looked a lot more brown yeah it's it's pretty brown I'm gonna take House Lannister in my crease. Now I'm taking Nymeria in my crease again, but not blowing it out as far. I'm not choosing these colors for any specific reason other than they're the only mattes in the palette and I like to put mattes in my crease and outer corner. Okay, last matte. This is Lannister Red. I'm taking bend the knee and popping it over the center of the lid. And this shade is Hard Home, which I'm popping on the inner corner. It doesn't pick up very well with the brush. This one has a bit of a flaky formula kind of um, difficult to get it to just like stick onto the eye just gonna go back in with bend the knee and um, touch that up a little bit I feel like the hard home shade looks so much prettier swatched but then on camera it looks pretty fucking bland um, by the way it's this one right here. It's a bit bland, so I'm gonna go over it with Bay of Dragons. And this is another one, like the formula is similar to Hard Home, and that's with me like gently scraping back and forth in the pan. It's a bit more interesting. They went on pretty nicely. The Bay of Dragons and Hard Home Shade, like I said, sort of like a chunky texture. If you can get it on, it's pretty, but it, it takes a little bit of like the, the patting and the, you know, sort of pressing it in. Probably apply really nice with your fingers. I never apply eyeshadows with my fingers, so you know, there's that. Um, bend the knee. Oh, that's a, that's a beautiful baby. I do like that shade. The mattes, look, they're, they're pretty good. Um, they've got nice pigmentation. They do blend well. I think the three shades are 
pretty generic. So, you know, you've got like a peachy nude, you've got a mid-toned brown and then a sort of reddish brown. Um, when you blend them all on the eye, this is <laughs> what it looks like. For me, because I'm the type of person I like to wear mattes in my crease and then the, the pretty stuff on the eyelid, um, and I don't really stray from that because I know my eye shape and I know what is most flattering uh, for my eye shape. Um, I, I know that every single time I use this palette, my crease and outer corner is going to look quite similar to this. Um, so for me, it's the mattes are already boring. Um, if there were, say, three more mattes in there or four more mattes, um, it might be a lot more interesting because you've got a lot more to play with. But when you've only got three mattes and you're really set on putting mattes in your crease and outer corner, you're pretty limited with what you can do. Sure, you can use like one shade for doing the mattes and the crease. You can swap them around. You can um, just do two or whatever you want to do, but you're pretty limited. It's three colors. I do have a tiny bit of sparkle fallout, which I'm not sure if you'll be able to see um, from the Hard Home and the Bay of Dragons shades, but that's all right. I expected a lot more fallout. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm not really bothered by that. And you know, I didn't set my base specifically so I could clean that up. Um, but that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to clean up. I'm going to set everything. I'm going to come back and finish the eyes off. I'm going to finish up these eyes, but I feel like I need to address the elephant in the room, which is this skin on my under eyes. Look, it's a combination of a few things that just went pear shaped. Um, I used the ordinary caffeine serum. My eyes don't like it. I should have should have paid attention to the burning sensation that it gave me before I continued to use it. Um, also, I'm too smart for my own good and I didn't use um, eye shields to, or like eye, you know, little under eye masks to protect myself from the new drunk elephant retinol that I'm using. Um, I finished up my Glyco one, so I moved on to that since I had it in my stash. So. Um, my skin is one very sore and irritated from the um, the ordinary serum two peeling because I clearly managed to get retinol under there at least I'm assuming it's a retinol I think it is because I've got some um, retinol ugly patches on some other areas of my face and three I tried a new sponge today and I really shouldn't have done that I'm <laughs> looks great, doesn't it? I uh, decided to play with the Juno sponge because um, someone asked me what I thought of this compared to the super sponge and I hadn't tried this yet. Um, and look, today was not the day for that. My skin is not in a, it's not in a good place. Anyway, I'm going to take weirwood leaves and I'm going to pop that on my lower lash line. I'm really disappointed in this shade. <laughs> the formula is nice, but it's just not the color of weirwood leaves. Like, it's not. I'm gonna take the shade White Walker and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. All right, I'm gonna stop doing that because um, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Let's play with some pencils. So I'm going to use Dragon Smoke in or on my uh, waterline. So this is a, it's like a blackened purple. Now I'm going to take Winterfell Snow, which is this sort of, it's like a translucent shade with a blue, silver, sort of shifty prettiness. I probably should have put this on before I put on the eyeshadow, but I'm just going to dot it in this inner corner. 
I've got to zoom away from these eyes because seeing them up close is actually starting to really upset me. Mother of Dragons highlighting palette. Um, so this is a three pan palette. It's actually really small. Like it's tiny. Like these little pans are small in comparison to other um, Game of Thrones highlighting, um, sorry, Urban Decay highlighting palettes. Um, so it's basically a Neapolitan ice cream highlighting palette. Some of you will know how I feel about that. Um, I personally don't like it. I think it's it's so generic. It's so generic. The colors do not relate to the dragons at all, really. Um, it's just, yeah, I just feel like this is, mm, this is a really poor attempt at creating something that could have been absolutely sick. Um, so I'm gonna use Viserion because Rhaegar will be too dark and Drogon looks like, to be perfectly honest, Drogon looks like a, like, a pink eyeshadow. Wow, it, uh, it picks up a lot on the brush. That accentuates texture. Look at that. <laughs> Fuck. Oh god. <laughs> you know what? Actually, it totally works because it looks like I have dragon scales on my face now that I have applied that highlighter. Okay, lips. This is what I'm like most excited about. Please be good. This is the Sansa Stark Sheer Lipstick. So this is a peachy nude. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm so excited about this. No. Oh, that's, that's tragic. What a shame. It's really sad because it catches on dry parts of the lips. Now, I actually had a lip balm on the whole time I've been filming this video, which has taken me a long time. Yeah, it clings and, oh, it looks really gross. I, yeah, yuck. Please get off. I'm going to use a lip scrub to see if I can get that skin off my lips and we'll try again. So it kind of looks a little bit better, um, but I think in this case, I'm only ever going to be able to wear this lipstick if my lips are in absolutely tip top perfect condition. Um, and yeah, it's really sad. I don't want to leave that on because uh, I still think it looks a bit gross where it sort of sits on the inner part of my lip, which is uh, still a bit dry. And I'm not going to scrub my lips red raw because that would be painful. Whoa. Okay, that's really pretty. Um, I feel like, again, it's like it clings. Okay, well, I can't do anything to fix that. It is what it is. Um, based off what I'm seeing here, uh, it, like, yeah, it clings. Um, it's a beautiful, soft formula. Like, it's a comfort matte, so they're meant to have a more matte finish and be comfortable to wear, and they are very comfortable. It's very light. Goes on quite... Um, smoothly and fairly opaque. Probably not a formula I would reach for unless my lips were in really good condition because that like gathering and bunching around <laughs> dry parts of my lips, I think I think that is like that is a major sin. It is really, really hideous. But the colour is 
beautiful and it's one that I would wear especially now that we're coming into winter some of you will know I love these really dark like blood blackened red shades stunning I'm gonna share my final thoughts on uh, the products in this collection and I'm going to be completely frank about my feelings so if you are someone who really loves this collection and you are very protective over it and you don't want to hear anything negative said about it now's the time to go um, I thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it um, and Overall, with this look, I really like the way it turned out. So there's that. If you're still here, let's do this. I'm going to start with the packaging. Um, it's sick. It looks like a book and I love it. I am totally going to put this up either up, where are we? Over here or up here or somewhere back here so I can look at it every day when I come into this room. Um, I will never leave it open like this. Uh, or with the thrown out because it just looks it looks what is like I just I can't I cannot fucking deal with that um, the eyeshadows if you're like do I like do I buy this for the eyeshadows Look, I think if you like this color story, you're going to be happy because the quality is there. The eyeshadow qualities, qualities, the eyeshadow quality is really nice. Um, I'm impressed with everything that I used today. The Hard Home shade and the Bay of Dragon shades, they are like a kind of, I tried to show you like a flaky-ish formula, but once you get them on, they do look nice. Um, white walker that was the one that i used on my inner corner before i went in with the pencil um it's pretty it looks like the pencil it's just not as sort of mm, punchy straight away if you applied it wet or you dabbed it on with your finger you might get a really nice result with that quality wise i am happy with this palette color story wise that's going to be up to you i can't tell you if you like it or not you have to decide for yourself Personally, um, I don't mind it. It's nothing special, but like I'll use it. I don't mind it. This fucking behind the, oh, bend the knee. I'm like behind the wall. My God, not feeling good today. Um, bend the knee. Whoa, it's fucking stunning. I love it. Let's do the other palette. This is the Mother of Dragons palette. This is fucking, this is embarrassing. This is just Oh, what is this? Look at the texture on my goddamn face. What is that? Like I said, I look like I've got dragon scales. So if that's what you're going for, go ahead. If you've got texture on your skin and you're hoping this won't show it up, it will. So, you know, there's that. Um, also, can we just stop with this fucking color story? It is so, so done. It's so done. I will never reach for this again. Um, I don't like the formula. I don't like the colors. It's not interesting. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, the pencils. Let's do the pencils. These I would 100% recommend. If you like one of these colors, you probably won't be disappointed. If you're not familiar with the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil formula, it is smooth, it's opaque, and it lasts fairly well. Definitely not the best I've used, but um, they're, they're okay with longevity. Some people are probably going to find that they're really good with longevity or really trash with longevity. Our faces eat our makeup in all different ways. We're all different. For me, these are okay. Um, and like, okay, for example, let me explain. If I was gonna buy a black, like a matte black, um, eye pencil to use in my waterline or to tight line. I'm not going to buy one of these because the longevity is not all day long for me. Um, I would buy like a, a Marc Jacobs highliner or something like that. They last so well on me. Um, but in terms of a nice formula, pretty colors or cool colors, interesting colors, I think these are nice. So if there's a color that you like here or if you like them all, I, I would say go for it. They're, they're good 
enough to not be completely disappointed. Lipsticks, okay, um, oh, the great disappointment. I cannot even tell you how sad I am about the way Sansa Stark looked on my lips. Um, I didn't even think my lips were that dry and I had a lip balm on the whole time I was like doing all of the things on my face. So that's really disappointing. Um, but it's a fucking beautiful color. Actually, I gotta show you this. It's kind of gone on patchy. Like it, it doesn't go on really nice and smooth. It sort of bunches a little bit. Uh, I don't know. That's like, I can't even tell you that is like major disappointment. Cause that was the one item from this collection that I was like, I will buy it, I will wear it, I will fucking love it. Um, the standout that actually turned out to be like really nice is the White Walker lipstick. Um, I do think it's like, I mean, you can see, you can see for yourself what's going on there. Um, it's bunched a little bit. It, it's looking a little bit patchy. That didn't really fix it that much and I'm not gonna fuck with it, but my God, the color is stunning. Um, if you don't have dry lip issues, it's not gonna be an issue for you. Um, okay, then we have this guy. This is uh, Cersei Lannister lipstick. Look, I'm just, <laughs> I gotta say, I would never ever have purchased this. And again, just, I feel like it looks patchy like let's uh, oh my god it's it's so ugly it is it's ugly like Cersei Lannister's soul so maybe it's appropriate then we have Daenerys Targaryen this is the red um I just look mm, I don't know like it's a pretty color and I'll totally try it out um, it's meant to be a metalized finish like Cersei Lannister. So it's meant to have like a metallic sheen to it, but I just don't really feel like it does. So I think if you, if you like this sort of red, I think you might be happy with that. Lip and cheek stain. Um, I didn't use this because I have no interest in it. Um, it's just a like clear or translucent reddish fluid. Um, it is quite thin, it's not sticky, it blends out okay, um, you can kind of, um, I'll just, the product just doesn't interest me. I can't even pretend to be like, oh, I'll try it out one day. I won't. I know I won't. Um, I'm not interested in it. I would have been so much happier if it wasn't in the collection. But it is, so there it is. I own it. I will never get rid of it because it's Game of Thrones themed, but I will always have a little bit of disdain for it. And then we have the brushes. Um, very sorry if you, like I am genuinely sorry if you um, wanted to see me use these. I know that I, in the past I've talked a lot about like makeup brushes and what's good and where you should spend your money and stuff like that. And I know some of you really love those videos from me and you respect what I have to say about brushes. Um, but I just can't bring myself to use these. I'm really sorry. Um, and I'm gonna be very blunt about why I didn't use them. One, if I, look at, ugh. Great, now I'm stuck with that for the rest of the day. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get it off. This is why I don't like makeup that stains, because now I'm stuck with this until I scrub my skin raw to get it off. Um, okay, back to the brushes. Now, okay, I would have bought these brushes individually if I hadn't purchased the vault, and I would never have used them. I would have purchased them for collector's pieces only, um, and the reason being is that I really like the like the design of these the little swords so you've got Jon Snow's long claw um, the brush has like the direwolves um, eyes has little diamantes it's fucking cute I love the attention to detail um, is it a direwolf or is it just a wolf I don't know whatever and then we've got Arya's needle which is 
look, it doesn't look much like a needle. It would have been cooler if it was. It would have been so much cooler if they had just made these little miniature metal um, swords rather than brushes, in my opinion. Um, anyway, I would have kept these as collector's pieces. I would never have used them because here we go, guys. I do not like the quality of Urban Decay eyeshadow brushes. Uh, to me, they are like really stiff and it's just not a pleasant user experience. I have some absolutely gorgeous eyeshadow brushes in my collection. Um, some from like Hakuhodu that are 10 times better quality than these guys um, and on the same like price wavelength. Um, so I won't use these. I'll never use them because they're just not I don't think they're good quality brushes. Every single brush that I have got in an Urban Decay palette, I don't use them because I don't like them. I just don't think they're good. Um, also, major, major issue with these, the hilts. The hilts are like in the way and they're, it's just, it doesn't feel right when you're holding it. Um, they poke you. It don't, they don't like hurt you or anything, but they they poke you and they feel strange and it's hard to like hold the brush comfortably and mm, I don't get it. I'm sure if you use them regularly, you would get used to it, but I don't have any desire to do that. I bought this makeup to and these brushes to enjoy them in the way that I want to enjoy them and that is being little like display pieces. These are my display piece brushes that will sit with the palette somewhere over there and every time I look at them I'll be like look at how fucking cute those makeup brushes are but functionality it's not there for me and I knew that when I was going in to buy them. To be perfectly fair if this was not a Game of Thrones themed collection I would not have purchased a single item from it. If this was just standard Urban Decay stuff or um and i mean it is standard urban decay stuff because it's like their quality products um but if it wasn't themed around game of thrones i wouldn't i wouldn't touch a single thing like there's nothing here that inspires me enough to actually want to like you know oh my god i've got to own that because it's stunning and i have nothing like it um the only driving factor in purchasing this collection for me was the fact that it's Game of Thrones themed. Um, and uh, I'll be totally like, I'll be totally straight up with the lipsticks. Like if these didn't have Game of Thrones packaging, um, I'd be massively disappointed because there's nothing there that is so amazing that like I, I have those colors. I have those colors and the colors that I don't have, I would never wear anyway. Um, and I will say, oh, you can see this is getting even patchier. Um, like I've got reds like this and I think the formula is better than the one that I'm currently wearing. Um, the, the eyelining pencils, okay, they're really pretty, but let's be dead real about this. How often am I gonna use them? And the only saving grace is that they have Urban Decay Game of Thrones on them. And I can tell you, even if I do discover that one of these is like a hardcore favorite of mine and I use it a lot, um, by the time I get to like sharpening down to the Game of Thrones bit, I'm stopped using it because that is, I'm not gonna get rid of the Game of Thrones ever. Um, so that's kind of my my vibe about this collection there is the only love here for me is the fact that this is game of thrones themed if you really want to buy something from this collection but you only want one or maybe two things i would suggest the eyeshadow palette unless you absolutely hate the color story then don't go there but if you kind of like it or you really like it you'll be happy with the quality um and any of the eye pencils if you like those colors um and i mean if you like urban decay brushes go ahead and buy those um those swords but yeah for me it's like okay i'm glad i've got it because i wanted it for collector's reasons but mm, none of it is the second coming of makeup jesus
Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, if you purchased anything from this collection, let me know your feels. Let me know your true feels. It's okay if you absolutely adore something that you purchased and it's okay if you hate something that you purchased but you're gonna keep it anyway because collection, it's okay. I understand because I have those feels about this makeup as well and a lot of other makeup in my collection. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.